In this video, we will look at how we can add and subtract polynomials. As we add polynomials, we simply will be combining like terms. Subtraction with polynomials is very similar. We just must distribute the negative sign first. Let's take a look at a couple examples where we add and subtract polynomials. In this expression, we have two polynomials in parentheses that are added together. With addition, we simply have to combine like terms. 5x squared is like the 2x squared, giving us 7x squared. The negative 7x is like the positive 5x. This gives us negative 2x. Finally, the 9 is like the negative 14. 9 minus 14 will give us negative 5. This is our result we get when we add the polynomials together. Notice as we added the polynomials, the exponents did not change. When we combined it x squared with an x squared, we kept x squared and added the number in front. With addition and subtraction, you will never see exponents change. Let's try a subtraction problem. In this problem, as a result of the subtraction, we must first take the extra step to grab this negative and distribute it onto each of the terms inside the parentheses. The first polynomial remaining the same is 3x cubed minus 4x plus 7. As we distribute the negative, we get negative 8x cubed minus 9x plus 2. Notice as we multiply the negative through, it changes the sign. The 8x became negative. The positive 9x became negative 9x because a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. Now, it works like an addition problem where we combine like terms. 3x cubed is like the negative 8x cubed, giving us negative 5x cubed. Next, we have the negative 4x, which is like the negative 9x. Negative 4 and negative 9 is negative 13x. Finally, 7 plus 2 gives us a positive 9. And this becomes our solution as we subtract the two polynomials. Notice as we subtracted, again, the exponents did not change. When we combined x cubed with x cubed, we still had the x cubed. We simply added and subtracted the coefficients, or numbers in front. With addition and subtraction, we're simply combining like terms, possibly distributing a negative first, should it be a subtraction problem. 